Hello, I hope everyone's having a good day. I just wanted to create a quick video on one, creating folders, and two, unzipping data files into that folder. There's data files that correlate with the CIS 105 book that you will need um, for the whole semester. So I'm going to just have you go and download them now and put them in the correct folder so you'll have them ready for the semester. Uh, it's important to know that creating the folder is probably what you should do before actually going down to download it so you can put them exactly where they need to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this screen, which is your um, coursework screen that you all see when you log into my MTI, and I'm on my desktop. To create a folder, I'm just going to right click on the desktop, choose new folder, and I'm just going to name it CIS 105. Now. Inside that, I'm going to open that folder by double clicking. I'm going to create one a folder for homework assignments just to keep things a little bit organized. When I'm inside of the folder, I see this new folder button and I'm just going to name it homework. And then I'm going to create another folder called data files. And I just press enter to stop naming the folder. Inside of data files, I'm going to double click. Now, if you see up here, I'm in my CIS 105 folder, and then I'm inside the subfolder known as data files. I'm going to create four more subfolders for our Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint data files to go into. So I'm clicking new folder, and I'm going to call this one Word, press enter, click new folder again. Excel, enter, new folder, Access, enter, new folder, PowerPoint, if I can spell it right. Press enter. Now, I can close this, and I'm going to go back to the assignment um, in coursework, and I'm going to go ahead and where it says download files. And the directions tell me, one, if I don't want to use the CD that came with the book. Some of you might have used books and not have a CD. If that's the case, um, you're going to have to go and get them from the website, which even if you have the CD, you don't have to use it. You can go and get your data files this way. I'm going to copy, and I'm going to open up a new um, page here. And I'm just going to do Control V as your shortcut to paste. So Control V, and it'll take me to the website that goes with the textbook. Now as it loads, um, it's going to show you, and on the directions, if you look back here, it tells you on the left, click on student data files under content. So here's content, here's student data files. Then it says to click on study aids. When you click on study aids, you see the Word files, the Excel files, the Access, and the PowerPoint. I'm just going to do one, and then you can repeat it and do it for all the folders. So if I click on Word, down here at the bottom of my screen, it's starting to unzip. And once I click on it, I see the folder. All I'm going to do is right click and copy it. Remember, right clicking, you always try it. There's always some cool shortcut under it. So I copied it, and now I'm going to minimize everything. And I'm back to my desktop where I have my CIS 105 folder. I'm going to open it. And remember, open data files and open Word. I'm in Word, and it's empty. Again, I'm going to right click and go down to paste. And as you see, it's copying the folders into that Word folder. Now when it's done, I might want to open it and check it. Yep, it's got all the folders and it's got files inside. So then I'm just going to go get ready for the next one. Let's say I want to do Excel. So I'm going to open the Excel folder, minimize this. There's a lot of minimizing and maximizing. Go back to the book or the website that correlates with the book. And now I'm going to click on Excel. And as you can see down here, it's unzipping them. Once it's done, it, I click on it, copy it, go back to my desktop. So I'm just going to minimize these things. Go back to CIS 105, data files, Excel, and I'm going to paste it. And again, minimize. And just if you're not sure, minimize is the line. Um, maximize, which would take up the whole screen, is the square. Restore is the double square, which makes it a little bit smaller so you can still see the back of your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and minimize it again. 
and then I would go back to my website and I would do the next one, Access or PowerPoint. I think you probably get the hang of it, and if you don't, just watch the video again. Um, I just want to point out, in the assignment, um, you it's worth five points. And a lot of people have been asking, well, how do you know that we did it? You can't see my desktop. Well, no, um, I'll know you did it when you complete Chapter 2, because Chapter 2 has you grabbing files. Remember, we're in Word first. has you grabbing files from this folder. So once I see it's done, obviously if you got this file, you did it from downloading. So then I will give you your points. Remember, some of these things we might take for granted. If you're confused on what I'm saying, it does not take me long at all to throw a video together or to call you and walk through it. So please ask, I'm here to help. Have a good weekend.